Hello. We're welcoming you to join us for a little conversation that we're having this morning. And hopefully we'll be having many of these conversations, and but some of them will prove to be really helpful for you. I'm Meridian Grace. I'm a naturopath. I've been at it for 40 years. And I'm sitting here today with Olivia. And um, we just started to have a little conversation, and she was telling me about a friend of hers. So you want to talk a little bit more about him, Olivia? Um, yes. He has been having issues with um, pressure build up in his sinuses and in his head, which he has found to um, notice that it's mainly at his house, and it goes away a little bit when he's not at the house. So... I didn't realize that it was pressure in his sinuses, too. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple things that if you happen to be a similar person and notice that in your home you have some problems and you're not having them other in other places, I do have a wonderful checklist of all sorts of things that you can look at to see if there's some issues in your house. But one of the first things is that in many people's homes these days, they're putting in smart meters. And you may not know this, but you can legally, in the, town, in the city of Austin, and in many cities across the country, opt out and um, tell the um, electric company that you don't want a smart meter. And um, they'll have to remove it and, um, and come out to read your me uh, an old-fashioned meter. And um, if they do that, they charge you an extra $10 a month, and they usually charge you a fee to take out the, the smart meter. Or you could call your electric company and find out if they plan to put one in and just request that they don't put one in at all. You can tell them that you happen to be very sensitive electromagnetically. And in such a situation, it would be a great benefit to your whole immune system if you don't have to deal with the challenge mm -hmm. of the electricity uh, in the house. And um, I was beginning to tell Olivia that um, actually two people that I'm working with right now happen to be extremely uh, electrically sensitive. And um, one of them actually would have seizures if she came close to a Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. And um, my Wi-Fi happens to be sitting right by my computer in my pharmacy area. And she came in and we were talking and she was sitting right in front of the Wi-Fi for like 10 minutes. And I pointed that out to her and she was absolutely astounded and then I showed her a device that I have on my house from Germany called a Memon. And um, they're challenging to get, so I, um, uh, I learned about it from a Russian doctor and um, arranged to be able to make them available to people because they're kind of hard to get. But I love, uh, if you're interested in finding out more about Memons, um, I love a website. Um, I'll have to look up the specifics for you, but it's from um, the UK. On Memon, so if probably if you Googled Memon device UK, you'll come up with the website there, and it happens to be I think the most um, educational of all the websites I've seen on the Memon. But there they talk about how our bodies have a natural electricity, and that electricity is really beneficial for us. Um, it's an electricity that has to do with all the synapses that go on between the brain and every tissue and organ in the body and almost every function in the body requires an electrical communication through those synapses. And that happens to be a right spin of electricity. And the left spin is the type of electricity that we have in our homes. So many people are trying to change the, um, the intensity of the electricity that comes out, these little jags that come out of the um, electrical systems in our homes that can create more challenge to the body. The memon doesn't concern itself with that at all. Its focus is on shifting that left spin to a right spin so that all the electricity that's pouring through the walls, that's coming in to you, that's um, happening through Wi-Fi, um, all the electromagnetic frequencies that are coming into the system and the, um, and the EMFs in particular are all becoming right spin instead of left spin. And that um, seems to support our bodies rather than harm them. 
it also somehow has a function that's ionic, so it pulls dust out of the air and makes it easier for people that are um, allergic, and um, balancing what's called geopathic stress. And that would be a whole subject on its own, but just to quickly state that that has to do with um, different areas on the earth have real positive benefit for us, and some areas are very negative to us. And oftentimes where there's water underneath the, the land or oil underneath the land, um, to actually you know, sleep over that can cause different health issues. And in Europe, they've really studied that intensively. They have a whole science called babology that goes really deeply into that geopathic stress and helps to identify it. And it usually takes frequency-oriented devices in order to find these things at this point. So um, that's a little bit about the EMFs. Um, another one of my um, uh, dear friends that I work with, my patients, I guess you would call them, um, she um, is extremely sensitive. Um, her skin is very sensitive to um, uh, all kinds of um, uh, things that are in the fabric itself. Um, even cotton can cause her skin to be irritated. And um, she finds that, like if her father walks into the house and he's wearing his cell phone, that she is extremely sensitive and really feels it. And in most environments, the electricity that's just there is, too, is uncomfortable for her, but she notices a total sense of well-being when she's in this house. And the other story that I personally have, there's many that individuals have that I know that I can share with you, is um, I do some work with autistic children, especially around diet and homeopathy. And um, one child that um, we worked with, um, when they came to see me for the first time, had never spoken, made eye contact um, with their parents, and they stimmed all the time and made high screeching noises and as if things were really painful and hard for them. Mm -hmm. And this particular child, um, after they were in the house for about 45 minutes, made eye contact with their parents for the first time, actually sat on their lap and got a hug wow. and said a few words to their parents. Oh my goodness. And that wow. was the only difference. We hadn't even gotten to the point we were going to do a treatment. Wow. We were going to do a little bit of neurological treatment with a, um, uh, a little device called Lens Neurofeedback for him, and that made a huge difference as well. But that alone was, like, hugely shifting for him. So um, more and more people seem to be coming in with far less protection, their membranes and their, their um, blood-brain barriers and their gut barriers. And um, it seems that we have more what we would call canary-type people who are pointing out to us things that those of us who have much stronger barrier protections and things aren't aware of. And things like the harm of electromagnetic frequencies. So that's a little bit about the memon. I didn't mean to spend that much time on the memon. But um, some other possible things for your friend to look into is lots of times our furniture, especially if it's new furniture, has fire retardants on it. Mm -hmm. So he may be sensitive to fire retardants, and that could be causing sinus issues. Um, we have these little mold plates, and you can place mold plates in different parts of the house and see if there might be some mold that's causing issues, and um, there's some genetic testing that's very inexpensive that we can do and run it through a software and see if he's one of those people who's particularly sensitive to molds mm -hmm. or bacteria or fungus, um, uh, virus or you know whatever whatever his potential sensitivity is, mm -hmm. and you know that could make a difference. Um, does your friend work outdoors, indoors? Um, both, um, he's a teacher and a coach, so he's inside teaching and also outside a lot, coaching. So, you know, that says a lot to me that he's outdoors. Because, mm -hmm. you know, being outdoors, he wouldn't be as exposed as if right. he was indoors and in an environment where the electricity is, you know, surrounding him. 
So that could be that, but it could be any of those sorts of things, any kind of inhalant. You know, definitely, you know, I tell people, I, I doubt if you do this, Olivia, but a lot of people use those little scented things that you plug into the wall. Oh, mm-hmm. You know, these chemical, petro- petrochemical um, uh, synthetic scents. And many people are very sensitive to that, and that could cause sinus headaches as well. Mm-hmm, that's but a the, good point. Mm-hmm. The primary thing that causes sinus issues, though, is the digestive system. And um, in Chinese medicine, the liver controls the sinuses, but the liver controls the whole digestive system as well. So that gives you a few ideas of where yeah. to put your Sherlock Holmes hat on if you're <laughs> looking to see what the issue is. Because we want to treat the cause. Right. You know, typically what people do, even in alternative medicine, is they just look for some way to manage the problem rather than to get underneath and to find out what the issue is all about. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if it's digestive, it's usually, we like to look at it from a psycho-spiritual point of view, too. So one of the primary things we do with people is called recall healing. And with recall healing, we're looking for the, um, <clears throat> the issue that may weaken an organ, the conflict. And it may be our personal conflict or someone else's from the family line. Particularly like if you're a first child, then anybody in the, else in the family line who would have been a first child, like a, a parent or a grandparent or a great-grandparent that was also the first child, if there was something really horrible that happened that made it difficult for that family member to digest the situation, not just the food, mm-hmm. the situation, <laughs> you know, somebody that you totally love and respect, you know, shocks you with some horrible thing about you or, you know, you're expecting to have this wonderful thing happen in your life, getting married or something and out of the blue, it's just gone. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the kind of thing that's indigestible Mm -hmm. and that can cause severe digestive issues and those digestive issues oftentimes manifest in sinus headaches. So... Anyway, it's, it's, all, it's all real fascinating, and there's so many different levels to recall healing. That's just one tiny way to take a look at it. Definitely. But, you know, that's the whole idea of putting on that your Sherlock Holmes hat and going and looking for the source. Yes. <laughs>